Hey guys, what's up? Eddie Aho here with KissAnalog.com. I have this audio precision guy here. I also have a Quant Asylum. I want to test, I want to use both of them actually to run some tests. Oh crap, what's in this box? <laughs> oh yeah, you probably saw the title. Wait, hold on a sec. I'm dangerous. Got my trusty knife here my buddy gave me. Okay. Let's see what's in this box here. And we're going to be running a bunch of tests. My plan is, I have, I actually have a stack of amplifiers around here. What my plan is, is to run them all through a bunch of tests to see if we can actually show uh, the difference between amplifiers. Acrylic, what do you think? <laughs> You guys know these guys? Looks like a nice box, right? Wow, it's actually a really nice box. Um, okay, so this is an amplifier. These guys reached out and asked if, you know, they sent this to me for free. Thank you very much, your acrylic. I'm going to test this in the next, uh, in another video. I've got some power spy videos I'm in, uh, I'm waiting to put out. So, but I'll be put, uh, doing another video on this very soon. And, yeah. Maybe I'll just kick it off with this guy, and then I've got some Fosses and some other things to test, okay? But, yeah, this guy here just looks really interesting. It's a wireless stereo amplifier, it says. APT XHD 50 watt times 2 TV ARC Audio TX and has an app, okay? So, okay, the line in is 2 volts RMS input. You know, uh, funnel in, analog RCA. So that's interesting. It has a funnel input. Man, it's got a lot of inputs. It has a USB. You know, let's look. Let's just open the scene and look. Uh, power input says 24 volts at 4 amps, 4.16 amps. Man, I'm going to show you guys a close up of this box because there's a lot of information on this box. Okay. So instead of reading it to you, I'm going to just show it to you. But it is 50 watts times two, like I said, but that's it uh, using 24 volt power supplies in the four ohms, okay? You get 30 watts in the two ohms. Okay, there you go. So for me, I feel like you need to double the power each time because you need that dynamic range. So if it's 30 watts in a two, two is pretty small, but if it's uh, 50 watts in a four, I would say in 8 ohms, it should be, you know, 25 watts, right? So that way it doubles at 4 ohms. That way it's linear as the uh, impedance drops in your speakers. Man, it has all I mean, Yeah, so I'll show you some close-up pictures of this. But the box, the marketing of aspect of this is pretty top-notch, actually. Uh, it doesn't look like overly expensive. I hate that when they spend too much money on the box and all that, but it is very nice. This is a color manual. Um, man, wow. Again, I'll show you the close-ups of this, okay? But yeah, okay, what else we got? Man, these guys, it's like they've looked at Apple to see how Apple have done things because the packaging, like this quick, this little guide here, this kind of hard paper stock here, very nice, shiny, very nice, colorful. Um, again, I'll show you close-ups, okay? We're just doing a box opening. Okay, take off that sheet of foam. You have this. Oh, wow. Okay, hold on a sec. I was trying to pull the amp out, but oh my. It really is, you know, man. Okay, you have this nice, dense foam. And there's the amp. Boy, that's nice looking. Okay, there are these little indents, I feel, on the volume. Very smooth. Little indents. Toggle switch for on off, so it is a mechanical switch. It's not, you know, a soft switch, meaning it goes in hibernation mode or something. Well, it still could. Uh, it's got rubber feet on the bottom, and it has a lot of connections on the back. Okay. I'll show you all this stuff close up in just a moment. We're just going to open up the box, but look at this. Look how it's packaged. It looks like, wow, okay, let's just open it up. Let's see what the heck's in here. 
<laughs> this is interesting. Man, they, yeah, okay. So in this box, two antennas, just like the picture showed, and some kind of cord and a remote. So two antennas, there's the remote. We'll pull the remote out and there's the power cord, okay? And it's just an IEC type power cord, all right? So that's what we get in there. And what do you guys think? That looks like a power supply. I just, wow, I just, yeah, it's packaging something else. Okay, so it's 24 volts at 4.16 amps, so it's 99.84 watts. So basically, 100 watts max, okay? I mean, dynamic range, maybe a little bit more, but steady state, 100 watts. That's what this gives, minus any kind of efficiencies. Again, very nice packaging to show you the box and everything. Okay, I'm going to show you close-up of all this stuff, okay? Let's, let's do this. All right, guys, so this is the bottom of the box. Isn't that nice? Man. I'll just show that for a moment so you can capture that image, okay? Now, here's the foam. So here's this Bluetooth, uh, it says receiving transmitting mode guide. I mean, man, look, there's a reset button. I mean, this is a nice, nice production, right? They've done a nice job with this thing, okay? Now, let's look at the, the front of the box, okay? Here's one side. There's another side with specs. Get nice and close for that. Okay, there's another side of the box. And another side with a lot of specs. All right, and then I think I showed you that one. So there we are. So that's the box. I mean, these guys did a great job. Now, here's the power supply. Okay, you got an LED you can see up there in the corner. It's going to light up. And there you go. There's the adapter. So there's our connector. Now, here, let me go back to some more boxes. So this is where the adapter came in. And this is the box with the remote antenna and all that stuff. All right, there's power, or there's power cable, the antennas, and the remote. Let me pull it out of there. And there is the remote. It's a nice shiny surface on the back. It, not, the curvature feels good in the hand. Nice little remote, rubberized surface for all the buttons. So, yeah, there you go. Doesn't feel like there's any batteries in it. And there we go. Yeah, so it needs a couple batteries. Okay, a couple trip ways. All right. So, and if you want to look at the close-up of the antenna, yes, you can bend them. So you can put it whatever angle you need to. But there's two of them. There's the guide. And just to show you the user's manual, the, all the color images and so on. I mean, you can see they've, they've done a very nice job in the presentation of this, right? I think they really have. So... Really interesting. It's going to be fun to test this thing. All right, guys. So here is the faceplate. Looks like four screws to take that off. There's an IR sensor you can see right here in the window. And then a bunch of LEDs across here. Wow, there's a bunch of different inputs though, right? Nice click. The This is a nice detented, you know, fill on this thing. And it just goes round and round in circles, so it's just a digital pot. So there's the bottom with the rubber feet, and there's the back. So there's all the connections you have, guys. Your speaker connections, Bluetooth, input power. Here's a ground, so if you want to tie all your chassis together. Um, man, look at all these. You got optical, ARC, USB. DAC, there's your reset button, and another Bluetooth. There's your second antenna. Wow, that's crazy how many inputs. Let me know in the comments what you guys have heard about this thing or what you like to see or hear, okay? All right, guys, so what do you think about this? What have you heard? Let me know. 
Give me your comments below. What kind of tests you like to see? What kind of things you like to see in this? If you've seen other reviews, maybe they didn't go in as much uh, detail as you want. Let me know what that is. Because when I look at this thing, I want to see if the engineering inside this black box is as good as all the attention and detail they did in all their marketing material. It looks really nice. I, I'm impressed. At this point, I'm really impressed. Uh, two thumbs up to Acrylic for sending this out to me. Thanks very much. Uh, I want to run this guy, too, in the Quant Asylum. We're going to use those things. I have another THD meter, a couple of them up here. <laughs> so, yeah, we're, we're going to run this thing to the ringer, okay? And uh, I'm excited. It's going to be fun. This is going to kick off a whole series of videos uh, testing amplifiers with the process or procedure I come up with to do that. So, yeah, let me know what you guys want to see because that will be important to add that as part of this process. So, all right. Hey, two thumbs up to my patrons as well and the members of the channel. Thanks very much. And my big team member. Thanks very much. Appreciate you. Thanks, Danny. And um, I think I had a super thank you. If you want to buy me a cup of coffee, maybe a beer for a rant. Yeah, there's that little super thank you down there. Appreciate it. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, Freeway Sports Channel, subscribe and hit the thumbs up if you like the video. That really helps. It really does. So, all right, this is exciting. I Honestly, I don't know anything about acrylic, so I'm going to learn. It's going to be fun. See you next time.